we're going to present psychedemy and afford at uh, the AI Institute at University of South Carolina to use AI and big data to get deep insight in, into what is coronavirus doing uh, to the society. This is once in a century event and it is impacting health, economy and social well-being. Expert ha experts have been warning us about significant impact of this pandemic on mental health, addiction and gender-based violence. And we can tap into tweets or posts by millions of users that uh, discuss their challenges with respect to all these aspects that we want to study. Our approach involves using deep domain knowledge about issues of mental health and um, addiction and combine that with deep learning algorithms to use what we call as knowledge infused natural language processing we will we will able to we have been able to use this on a corpus of over 800 million tweets and 700000 news articles we defined an empirical social quality index called sqi that aggregates over these challenges our analysis focuses on relative sqi between states especially how states are changing in their relative ranking over time. Of course, the prevalence of COVID-19 affects SQI. Right now, some states are doing well and some are just managing, but that isn't the whole story. SQI is also likely the effect of external events, in particular government restrictions and coping responses. In fact, patterns of SQI change emerge that cluster states together. For example, during a four week period, these states start out okay, but decline as indicated by the increasing yellow color. Group of states shows different patterns of reactions. This is how SQI is changing over four weeks of time. States such as Wisconsin, Rhode Island, Nevada, Connecticut shows a non non monotonous effect in SQI. On the other hand, Midwest showed a monotonous worsening in SQI. Interestingly, congested states like Illinois, New York, Massachusetts showed an improvement in SQI. To further illustrate why such a behavior has been observed, we analyzed the language in Twitter. Disambiguating and contextualizing the tweets using medical knowledge graphs, we observe patterns of improvement in conditions, which is in seen in, as the decline in the tweets on depression, addiction, and anxiety. Much of these is due to meditation, yoga, indoor games, and increased use of streaming video platforms. Among many external factors, financial events and specific government interventions have substantial effect in the social quality of people, specifically business and individual relief announcements, business closures, increase in unemployment, and stay at home orders. Whenever the unemployment increase is much more significant than the previous week, the social quality is worse. And whereas whenever the individuals and businesses are given financial release, the social quality is getting better. Concerning coping with the pandemic, our content analysis shows different generations react to, pan react to the pandemic differently. For example, Gen Z population takes the lockdown as a vacation, talking about video gaming and Netflix shows but also drug abuse and abuse in their families. On the other hand, millennials are more worried about social distancing, unemployment and government response. As you probably observed, this is a powerful tool that gives you real time insight into how the policy actions impact the society. And it can also help plan for the challenges ahead. You're welcome to get more information at the link provided. 